I think people know how valuable social media can be for their brand or their business, and yet at the same time they do nothing but make excuses. People go, you know, I don't really have anything to say. I'm not a public speaker, I'm not a writer. What would I even talk about? The most ridiculous one to me is like, I don't live a movie star life. I'm a regular person and I go to work and I run my company and then I, you know, I, I go home and I pick up the kids and all of this stuff. I don't, I don't go out and do cool things all day, every day. So what would I possibly talk about or show? And truthfully, like any other thing in business, you will always find a reason why you shouldn't do it. But what you have to realize is those reasons are nothing but excuses. Don't look for the reasons why you shouldn't do it. They're always gonna be there. As a business person, as an entrepreneur, as someone who's trying to grow something, you look for the reasons why you should do it. Everyone that we look to who has something, everyone who has a following, who has a team doing social for them, everyone who has great designs and great stories, and you look at it and you go, oh my goodness, how, how did they do it? They started with nothing, but they were willing to give a tiny bit of time. Yeah, there might be other people who have a message like yours or a voice like yours, and not everyone is gonna connect with your message, and that's okay, you don't need to. Of course there are other people uh, with other flavors out there saying similar things, but only you can say what you need to say for the reasons you're gonna say it in the way you are going to say it, only you. Only you have had the experiences that you've had and the insight and the lessons that you've learned. And the fact that you don't live a movie star life, that you come to work and you do your work and then you go home or whatever it is. But even in that day, there are moments where you're doing something that might seem totally ordinary to you, but to other people seems completely extraordinary. There are times in your day where you're feeling bold or you're feeling energetic or you're feeling stressed out or sad. There are these moments that you could share and when you wrap that in your message, when you wrap that in your lessons that you've learned the hard way, when you are willing to put in a tiny bit of time to actually write that post or record that video or share that thing, you are helping people who are years or decades behind you. Evan says that you have to imagine someone is about to face hard lessons or times in their life that you have already worked through. And if you just connect with them, if, if you could dial them up on the phone and hand them the phone and say, listen to me, I'm about to help you avoid this hurt, avoid this pain, avoid these challenges. I'm about to save you all of this time or all of this money. Like, would you not do that? If you're walking on a bridge and you see someone standing on the edge of the bridge and they need, they need you, would you stop and talk to them and help them through that moment? Of course you would. And not every post is gonna do that in social but by being there for people, it will. What you're facing right now, don't you wish that someone would come along and help you with what you're facing right now? You could be that person for everyone who's behind you. Bob Goff says that you need to pour yourself into people who are two decades behind you. So if you're in your 50s, you gotta be helping people in the 30s. If you're in your 40s, you gotta be helping people in your 20s because it's far enough along that you have hindsight, you have 2020 vision, you've learned the hard lessons, but it's close enough that you can still remember, it's still fresh. You know, when I'm in my 30s now, my late teenage years, they don't seem that far away and I can help those people who are facing those ch same challenges that I faced or the people who wanna do the things that I managed to be able to do. Let's attack those three excuses right now because I think everybody faces them. Not enough time, listen, what does it take, 30 seconds to record something? Two or three minutes to do something? You're only talking about a few times a day, spending a few minutes per day on something. And once you start to get into it and excited about it, it's gonna become more fun. You're gonna love it more. You're gonna spend more time on it. You're gonna get better at it. So it won't feel like a chore. It should never feel like a chore if you're on the platform you love and you're being creative with your ideas and you're getting all this great feedback. It's not gonna feel like a chore. And on the, you know, I don't have anything to say. Yes, you do. You have things to say. But not only that, we think somehow when you're getting into this that we have to say something different all the time. You're gonna talk about the same five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 things. You're gonna say it in a different way, but, but just you have your lanes, you have your things that you talk about. 
and then not having anything to show. The more you do this, the more you're going to say yes to things, the more you're going to actually just go out and experience life just so you have the opportunity to put yourself in a situation where you're experiencing new things and trying new things. I'm now going to make time and put myself in a situation where I'm trying something new just because I'm the type of person who tries new things, but also I know I'm going to learn something from this. I'm going to get a good story from this. Maybe I'm going to have some photos there, whatever. It's just, it's just fun. When we went to Boston together for a week, yeah, you know what? I was going to go to the HubSpot conference. I was going to, I got invited. I was going to learn some things at Inbound. But more than that, I was like, no, it's worth it because I'm going to bring Steve with me and we're going to have all of this time going to Boston. We're going to learn all of these things. We're going to try all these new things and have new food and have fun and record videos and do all of those things. So just by the act of me having the channel and doing it made me try the new things, which then feeds the channel for more things. You don't have to be afraid of the time. You have lots of things to say. And the more you do this, the more situations you're going to find yourself in where you're actually trying new things. As long as you're making excuses, on time, on, you know, I don't have anything to say, or I don't live this type of life that goes out and does cool thing. You'll always find a reason why it won't work. And so I will challenge you to think a little bit bigger, to be a little bit bolder, to say yes to doing it, and to realizing that it's something that only happens if you start doing it. Those reasons are nothing but... Don't look at... Don't... Evan, Evan says that Bob Goff is a writer and I don't know, like this crazy guy, but he's awesome. The excuse is like, I just, do we like this? Do you see it cutting together? If you would like to know my greatest advice that I give leaders, check out this video right here. I think you'd like it a lot and I will see you over there.